Hi there, welcome to this course, Economics Without Boundaries, because economics truly is a subject without boundaries. My name is David McWilliams. I've been an economist for 23 odd years. I've worked as a central banker, an investment banker. I've been a journalist, I've been a writer. I've made economic documentaries. And what I want to share with you is the idea that economics is truly about people's everyday lives, about your everyday life. And over the years, I've been lucky enough to work in a variety of different countries and different crises. Here in Ireland, in Argentina, in Russia, in the European Union, and in the United States as well as London. And hopefully, I will share some of the experiences that I have learned while working in these crises, because the interesting thing about economics is just how surprisingly similar all these crises, booms and busts, and bank failures actually are. Sometimes economics is deployed by those who want to tell you what you can't do. It's like a defense mechanism. But this course is going to be totally different. It's going to be about what you can do. We're also going to look at globalization. And we're going to say that globalization isn't new. I mean, ever since fellas went out in little boats like this, humans have had an urge to trade. And why? Because they're curious. We are curious, but also, we want to sell stuff that we have and buy stuff we don't have. That's the essence of international commerce. From the small shopkeeper out here to the huge big conglomerate defines the economy and how the economy moves in an ebb and flow from optimism to pessimism. Now this is a macroeconomic course and the thing about macroeconomics, the most important thing you can understand is that it's counterintuitive. In macroeconomics as distinct from accounting and microeconomics. What is good for the individual is not always good for the collective. And macroeconomics is all about the collective. It's about rich and poor. It's about haves and have-nots. It's about the first world and the third world. It's about the 1% and the 99%. And ultimately, it's about insiders and outsiders. And because economic history tends to repeat itself, we're going to look at our past. And we're going to see, by looking at the past, can this help us predict the future? Now, the way the course is going to work is we have nine separate lectures. Every single lecture is going to come with its lecture notes, it's going to come with a PowerPoint. Each lecture is going to come with animations and cartoons. And these animations and cartoons are designed to make things that can be a little bit tricky to make them much more easy to digest. And finally, the reading list. <laughs> Economics Without Boundaries will give you the roadmap in order to go from A to B and hopefully to be able to tell the story of the global economy as it affects your life, your family's life, your income and ultimately your career.